Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Borderwise and welcome to From the Depths Alpha Test 3.5.0 or technically slightly more than that because many updates come out very quickly. So it's another update that changes a bunch of fun stuff and um, actually somewhat significant balance changes in this patch which I'm quite excited for because it uh, promises to address certain long-term uh, problems that uh, we've all had with From the Depths. But we'll get to that in a second. Let's read out the intro first. What is up, Depthians? Another sweet update being propelled to you, epic people. Numerous changes, tweaks, bug fixes, and new features. Uh, before we get into the changes, we need to point something out for you good peeps that have been running the alpha test. Positive, negative force access code has, has changed for custom rudders, so if you made anything in alpha using them, you should check the your uh, slash roll slash pitch inputs. Gotcha. Right, so that's the public service announcement. So, first big change is vehicle stability. So, uh, reading the patch notes, acceleration and evasion being very cheap and having basically no downside is a very old FTD problem. It makes cannons unreliable, ships relatively weak, and kiting disproportionately strong. The new stability mechanic adds a benefit for having a stable platform. And the overview is as follows. The new stat is stability, possible range is 0 to 100%, it's based on the movement of the main construct the last 3 seconds. Added a slider to the target prioritization AI card from negative 1000 to plus 1000 uh, value for each 1% stability, so presumably uh, you can get your craft to aim at things which are more stable, which as a cram gunner I'm very thankful for because um, crams tend to be very bad against anything that moves erratically. Uh, munition warner range is now a function of stability instead of rotation rate. Varies between 20 to 110% for 0 to 100% stability. All direct fire weapons gain 0.004% in accuracy for each 1% stability below 100%. So, uh, I guess 10% uh, instability, or 90% rather, means you'll have 0.04% more in accuracy on all direct fire weapons. Missile laser target in accuracy is rerolled every second. And the actual inaccuracy of the beam is interpolated to the new value over one seconds. Remote and lure guided, uh, remote and lure missile error is increased by 0.1 meters for each one uh, percent. So, basically, if you want to fling uh, laser guided missiles and remote and even lure missiles, uh, it's best to do them from a stable platform because they get less accurate if your vehicle is less stable. I should mention I have no idea where to check uh, this. So, like. Um, Maybe it's not in the V menu yet. Um, I'm not sure where it is. I'm not sure if it's in here. Like, I'd love to see it there. Like, presume, like the closest thing I've got to seeing it is like uh, if you uh, stick either a munition warner uh, or a what do call it, or some kind of weapon on your craft. So you go here. Stability changes. Detection range to 109 percent. So now that drops. Um, Considerably, and this thing isn't that fast. Um, this is just a fun little yacht thing I made ages ago and updated for this video to make it uh, prettier. And not a canoe, you'll be pleased to know. But anyway, um, yeah, so the faster something goes, uh, the less uh, stable it is and the less it has that. So let's go, what can, let's uh, chuck in something like this. This is an old uh, plane I've made. Let's go check this. Yeah, so the detection range on this thing, because this thing bounces around like crazy and moves at about 140 meters per second, it's only 20%, so... Yeah, that is a... Uh, it's not bad, actually, for a plane, uh, because you kind of don't want it dropping flares or something too early anyway. Um, but, yeah, it's a... Interesting, interesting change. It means, like, just making your craft super fast all the time isn't, uh, isn't always your best move. Also, there's a camera change. Whenever you switch uh, to the verb back to Rambot, it does this. It snaps back to it. And same with build. So if I go here and if I build on me thing. Ah, damn it. I wasn't meant to show you the back yet. Whoops. Anyway, so stability. Four values are tracked. Um, uh, average velocity magnitude, velocity magnitude change, velocity rotation rate times velocity magnitude, and construct rotation rate. Uh, example vehicles, ships generally have 95 to 100% stability, flyer moving in a straight line at 220 meters per second, uh, which is the custom jet engine practical limit, is about 90%. Uh, 
Flyer circling at 2,000 meters distance, uh, 220 meters per second is about 75% stability, and a flyer circling at 1,000 meters distance is uh, 220 uh, meters per second speed, uh, is about 65% uh, stability. So, basically, uh, getting your craft to do what like I tend to make my planes do anyway, um, that's really going to mess with the stability. It means any kind of direct fire weapon you put on them is going to be uh, pretty inaccurate, or at the very least inaccurate enough so uh, it gets more materially efficient to use direct fire weapons on something like a ship. And basically this means that ships are more viable in a meta sense. At least that's the impression I'm getting from this, because uh, let's face it, um, why would you, if you just want to go pure meta in front of the depths, why would you make a ship when you can make an airship, or a thruster craft, or a spacecraft, or something like that? Not usually a whole lot of advantages to just sitting in the water, but now there is an extra one. So the changes mean that, oh, uh, this is basically what I just said. Uh, the changes mean stable vehicles and fortresses gain a slight boost against uh, projectile weapons, uh, in the sense that the munition warners can spot them sooner. Faster and especially more evasive vehicles have a harder time shooting down projectiles, and at long distances their weapon efficiency is notably reduced. And it makes slow vehicles, cannons, and infrared, radar, and sonar missiles more useful in general. Which makes sense, because I tend to be a lazy boy, and I uh, use radar and sonar missiles, or I guess torpedoes, like, all the time. Uh, but if you go on pure meta, like, you know, if you know how to make a Lua, or a remote guided... Or, like, Lua especially. Like, why would you ever use the other things? Well, now there's a reason. Okay, so, that's stability. That's kind of a big change. It's like, a, it's one of the kind of changes I really like in that it's a small change, but with, it has big effects. What is happening? Huh, how dare you. How dare you be unpainted. Uh, why am I bothering to save this right now? Just had a little bit of an OCD moment, excuse me. Alright, so, propellers, the thing uh, which uh, I wasn't supposed to show you yet, but here it is. So, custom propellers have been changed again and they've been made so much better. So, one of the first big changes is custom propellers. We have created a very in-depth system for customizing the look of the custom propellers, and we also suggest updating your builds to the new custom propellers as power usage and thrust have been tweaked. Uh, you can remove blades and rotate any blade around the hub if you wanted to go for a three-blade Y shaped setup, yet keep the functionality of all four blades. The sliders are purely aesthetic only and will not change the performance of the custom propellers. Uh, as you can see from the screenshot below, you can't see it, uh, well, it's basically what... Let's, let's turn this guy off so you can uh, see uh, what I'm talking about. So this is basically the default look. Uh, until you start adjusting the overall shape via the sliders and also material type from the texture drop down there. So, if you hover over this thing, um, if you go to extra configuration, you can choose what material looks like. Iron is the default, and I think that looks like crap. And then you have red setter, which looks uh, quite nice. Uh, alloy, heavy armor, lead, uh, metal, rubber, stone. <laughs> that was good. A wing, and a plique. So, red setter, I guess, is what's standing in for wood, and I am really now want to see what it looks like when you just make a wooden prop plane, so I'm going to leave that as alloy to match the rest of the ship. And um, over here, you can see, like, right down at the bottom is uh, what uh, the patch notes are talking about, is that you can enable rendering of various blades. So I can say, get maybe I just want to three props on here. Actually, you know what I'll do? Uh, this looks really good on aircraft, so... This is something I made ages ago, once again, uh, to test the new propellers as they were. And, um, yeah, so I think this looks rad as hell. Um, looks pretty good. Uh, so if we do this, and if we just uh, turn off our friend here, and say we have this and it looks uh, pretty good, and um, maybe we don't want to rent... Maybe we want it three... Uh, propeller blade, so I can go that, and then I can change the angle. Whoops. Oh, there it is. Whoopsie daisy. Uh, let's see, let's try and do math, so... Uh, what do I want to do here? I figured this out before. Oh. Negative 30. Wrong one.
Nope. <laughs> this is hard. Uh, brr, brr, brr. I'm trying to remember what the hell... You get the idea though, right? So it's like, you can adjust this as much as you like. So it really helps to kind of friggin... Uh, do this before the thing starts spinning. So something like that. And then you have a three prop thing, but it's still got all the benefits of a four prop thing. I do like how um, uh, the devs are very much um, like aware of a lot of people who just want their stuff to look pretty from the devs. So it's nice, they're catering for everybody. <laughs> Let's go! I'm sorry, I'm allergic to propellers that look really good. Apparently. Alright, so... Uh, we're just gonna cruise around in the sky here. Uh, yeah, so you can mess with this a lot and just uh, get the hang of uh, your style of craft more. And, uh, yeah, like... Actually, hang on, let's try something here. I wanna just try something here. I'm just gonna get rid of that. And stop moving. And that and let us what happens if we paint it does that work it does work look at that <laughs> you can put like that's so nice that's so nice uh, let's do wait, what I forgot what camo we had camo tiger one two three four there we go Look at that! Oh, I like it! Oh, I like that a lot. Oh, this is so nice! We can make good prop planes, we can make- Oh! I'm happy! Happy Borderwise sounds. Okay, anyway, so, um... So yeah, after spending a little, uh, bit of time uh, with this system, you can make, uh, just something that fits the style of your craft more. Um... Yeah, 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 we've seen all this... Top UI is like, you know, you mess around with all kinds of stuff. And there's two defaults uh, as well, I should mention. Um, I can get out of build mode, I think. So let's go here. Just all lots of stuff. You can set the thickness of the blades. Not going to do that. Extra projection. You can make them just look aesthetically longer. You can do this. Whee! Look at that. Very long. Very long. Too long. Nope. But we don't need that in blade width. We can do that. Oh, chonky blade, chonky blades. Uh, great for ship. Uh, great for ship propellers, though. And then we could make him very skinny. A rotational blade. We can set it to rotate that way. We can set it to rotate that way. Yeah. So we can mess around with this a lot. Very nice. Very very nice. Uh, and you can also set nodes. Um, uh, to change the appearance of these things. So, once again, let us do that. And let's do this. Let's go here. Where do we want? Yeah, so these are the visual nodes. And so, front edge. Let's go here. 100% down the blade. Front edge move. Let's do something like that. Oh, wow, that's weird. So, let's do that. Let's do rotation a little less steep. Also a little less steep. Yeah, so this is a handy preset. So if we set all this to zero, what do we get? Uh, let's, let's go zero. That looks a little bit funky. The default, I think, I'm just fine with. So, so let's go. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? So let's, Let's just uh, set the width 100%, whoops, and see what happens. Oh, that looks weird. Damn, look at that. Wow, you could really tweak these. Um, let's go here and let's see, like, uh, right at the edge of the braid. Thickness. Interesting, interesting shaping. What does that do? Interesting, interesting. Got a kind of curve here. That's ve that's very nice. So let's just hop over to the 
Apply reset linear. A single node that will not interfere with anything. So yeah, that's about as um, that's about as simple as it gets. And then you can go default, which looks like that. Very nice. Very very nice. You can see like wow, the devs have put real thought into this. Been just think about pillars a lot. Clearly, uh, so etc etc etc. Okay, so. There are some uh, changes to propulsion. Uh, Alright, so let's go here. All propulsion, it says, apparently, has been like this. Propulsion control stats. Configuration. Where is it? Aha! Uh -huh. I think I found it. Okay, so what do we got here? Auto balancing and manual. So let's go here. So, this is the new thing. Uh, manual control how this block response to different uh, control signals and just um, automatic control uh, sets it to like that. So just forward, this one is just forward and back. Uh, let's go to manual control again and that's the difference. So if you're just feeling lazy it'll just kind of auto detect uh, what the propulsion should do. So uh, let's set you back to manual and then let's hop back on our boot. And let's try that, because these things here are set manually uh, to respond to your, and to respond to back. So let's go automatic control, so it's alright, so it's automatically gone your left, uh, forward, negative, uh, back, one. And it should, uh, because this is a pretty simple prop setup, it should uh, still do uh, what we uh, want them to do. Yep, so it's still it's uh, still going uh, where we want it to go, very nicely, and it's just that's just nice and automatic. So it means that uh, if you uh, don't want to futz around with your propulsion all the time, you can just hit the auto button, and uh, it should do something uh, that does the trick, which is very nice. It's uh, very nice indeed. Uh, manual is the okay. I'll just read this out. A manual is the usual means of setting a propulsion block to be straightforward. Your pitch, auto balancing on the other hand. Uh, can fuel a few points of thrust to assist in pitch or hover. Auto balancing will automatically calculate the combination of propulsion required for smooth roll pitch your strafe hover forwards motion. Auto balancing does not change the manual settings you've already stored, so you can turn it on and off without affecting things permanently. Lastly, on the subject of propulsion, we have set up a function very similar to what was removed previously, which was the always up function, and added a new method uh, which will also assist the thrust pointing horizontal. You can choose between manual, controller, pitch, yaw, and set the two sliders up as needed as a permanent angle, or via the new breadboard component, which we shall discuss next. Um, let's let's see that, though. Let's uh, go here. Maybe I want this to be a hover thing, huh? Did you think about that from the depths? Whoopsie daisy, that's not what I wanted to do. This is probably going to be a... Horrible example of a thing. Let's go here, propeller hub. Whoops. I like it. Okay, propeller blade. Turn the UI on. One, two, three, four. What the? That's weird. I'm confused. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Please, no crash. Oh, thank goodness. Um... Two, three, what? Why is this not connecting? I'm so confused. Is this a bug? Why can't I set up my propeller? Huh? Uh, that's confusing. Do I need to... What do I have to do here? Oh, what the hell, man? Okay, let's um, turn that off. There's still bugs, clearly. Uh, ah. Okay, let's do this. Let's go here. Pitch up, pitch down, roll right forward, up, down. Manual control, extra configuration, what is it? 
Where did it say... Where did it say always up? Nope, okay, what? Extra configuration. Okay, that's it. Okay, extra configuration. All automatically point upwards. Automatically keep horizontal. Okay, let's try that. Two, three, four, five. One, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we have a helicopter blade, basically. Motion response. Pusher, and now I will enable hover on this thing. Basic settings, maneuver, allow hover, altitude. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, I've made a helicopter thing. Oh, dear. Quick, change it, change it. <laughs> okay, so this thing is now always up. Look at that, so stable. It doesn't have any, uh... I've made an airship. <laughs> I should mention that my whole ship is made of alloy in the <laughs> Oh my word. I didn't plan on this, I swear. Okay. <coughs> you know what this thing needs? Flashing lights on it. And thankfully, uh, the new patch notes uh, mention an excellent way for us to do that. There is a new ACB function. Uh, the generic block setter. So, I think I've hidden uh, AI mainframe somewhere around here. Uh, don't remember where, but it's somewhere. Yeah, I really don't remember where. Where did I put the AI for this? There you are, bless ya. You're over there on the left. Alright, so the breadboard has a new function, and thankfully I spent a minute or two um, following instructions here. So basically this is a new function, it's called the generic block setter. Uh, I'm terrible with the breadboard, but this basically lets you mess with pretty much any kind of block uh, you like and uh, just do stuff with it and the example given is a means of uh, just you can have a light flicker on and off so you have the thing here and let's say we want uh, we want lights so let's go on the front of our flying boat and put some headlights uh, where should we put our headlights let's put our headlights here let's put uh, flashing lights Right there. And uh, we're just going to name them both the same thing. Uh, example 1. And also example 1, because I want both of them to flash. And let's go back to the breadboard. Let's go back to our delicious bread. I'm so glad I rehearsed this. Um, so now we go over here, and we can set, do... This is the example shown in the patch notes. We can set a timer function over here. So go there, timer, set that to two seconds. And we can plug that um, into neon light. So neon light fitting, and that should affect both of them, hopefully. Uh, or not, right. So like data intensity, so that's just setting the intensity. Uh, what's this? Okay. Block name filter. We can do that. Uh, we can do... Actually, we can do two of them. Let's, uh, let's be cute. Uh, let's set... Yeah, let's... Uh, nah, let's say... Yeah, one. So that's there. Because there's two of them. Alright, so there we connect this timer to over here. And do that. And what that should mean is that our lights on the front should now be blinking. Oh, that one is. Oh, that one is blinking. Nice. But it's only affecting one of them at a time, so never mind. So let's uh, do this. Let's see if we need to stick different functions on them. Let's go here. Let's go here. Alright, so... 
It would be nice if you could just copy paste things in a breadboard. Uh, that'd be very good. Timer. Two seconds. One. And generic block setter. There you go. And this is going to be neon light. Example two. And that should be affecting both of them now. Interesting. It's still only affecting one. By the looks of it. Or not. Maybe neon lights is just hard to see. Alright, let's uh, try that with a different set of lights. Let's try this instead. And just... It's just to get rid of one of those functions and set it to just... This. So, delete, delete. So, it's just light fitting. Get rid of that. Yeah, it's still only affecting one of them. I'm not sure why that is. Or maybe it's just not showing. Interesting. Anyway, that's an example of that thing. It can just kind of affect stuff like that. Let's try this, actually. There we go. There we go. Just had to correct it. So now we've got blinking lights powered by bread on the front of our flying thing. And it's, uh, it's doing very well now. And that's nice. So yeah, so that's pretty much all I can say about the bread stuff, because I'm not good at bread, but yeah, that generic block function basically allows uh, breadboards to control, like, fairly easily, like, any kind of block you like, and that's just one example. Those of you who know bread are gonna have a lot of fun with that, so have a, have a, have fun with that, so, yeah, smiley face in the patch notes regarding bread. Alright, so, whoopsie daisy, uh, what are you, what, what, what? Damn, that thing just corrected itself. That was awesome. It visually did that too. Like a helicopter! <gasps> it like, it is like Helimo Chopper. Oh my goodness. Anyway, so let's, uh, let's actually read out the change log because we've been, uh, faffing around for half an hour, so... AI, projectile avoidance fake missiles now have velocity and lateral distance configuration. I never use projectile avoidance anyway, but those of you who do, great. Actually, let's let's have some fun here and let us uh let's visually make this like that. Yay! <laughs> Helicopter this thing looks like a this looks like something from a you know, a knockoff uh Miyazaki movie now. It's great. Oh, <laughs> uh, cool. Anyway. <coughs> um, um, animation block. Added a motion control for the animation block. The droid model does not support this. It is aimed at the future character pack DLC. Yes, anime is coming to From the Depths. Brace yourselves. Uh, APS. Add an option to the APS menu to disable barrel retraction on firing. Oh, let's, uh, let's see that. Let's go just here. Advanced. Cannon, uh, one barrel, and uh, yes, disable barrel retraction. Well, there it is. Groovy. All right. Uh, auto balancing added an auto balancing option to jet slash huge jet slash ion slash huge ion slash propeller slash huge propeller slash custom jet engine slash propeller hub. Auto balancing will automatically calculate the combination of propulsion required for smooth roll slash pitch slash law. <laughs> Roll, pitch, your strafe, hover, and forwards motion. Auto balancing does not change the manual settings you have already stored, so you can turn it on or off without affecting things permanently. Auto ba- uh oh. Did you run out of uh, fun materials? Oh, you did. Get out of the water, you, you silly thing. Let's go on an adventure, an airship adventure. Anyway, uh. Auto balancing does not change the manual settings you've already stored, so you can turn it on or off without affecting things permanently. Auto balancing updates uh, when propulsion systems rotate or when they become inoperable, i.e. a submerged jet or a dead propeller. Breadboard added the generic uh, block setter, which we've shown you. A whitelisted propulsion block, light bulb animation block, advanced cannon firing piece, cram firing piece, cram fusing box, boiler control, fuel engine values for the generic block setter. Added logic gates as a new breadboard component with all standard gate types available. I don't know what that means, but it's probably good. 
Custom control. Custom control surface tooltips have visualizations showing their pivot axis and force direction for positive and negative input. I need to go hop on my other friend here. So this has a tooltip, apparently. Aha! There it is. It's, uh, it's showing what it's doing. Yeah, it's showing the range of motion. Groovy. Okay. Uh, Visually showing the pivot axis for direction for positive and negative input. Custom rudders. Mirror meshes added for all rubber parts. Fuel engine. Pressing Q while looking at fuel engine parts. Now also brings up the overview menu of the main block. Alright, so... If we go in here and we look at our fuel engine. Over here. So, look at the injector. Okay, yeah. And uh, what else could we do? If we look at the exhaust, no. Injector, cylinder. Okay, cool. So it's just an easier way to get uh, to the main uh, to the main UI of the engine. Okay, cool. Uh, brr. Propeller hub, mesh and material customization for propeller hub attached. Propulsion added automatic adjustment of yaw and pitch orientation adjustments to point the propulsion system directly up or keep it horizontal. This is the successor to the always up value of the now obsolete deadly blades. It works for jets, ions, propellers, uh, crank propellers, steam jets, custom jet engines, and propeller hubs. The maximum angle for yaw and pitch is still 15 degrees. Oh, now I get it. So it's basically the whole thing tilts in order to always be pointing up. Oh my goodness, that is a game changer. That, oh, yes. Mwah. It's even better than I thought it was. And stability. Ships generally have 95 to 100% stability. Uh, okay, is this all the numbers we read out before? So, 220 meters per second limit flyer. Moving a straight line is about 90%. 220 meters per second flyer circling 2,000 meters is about 75%. And circling 1,000 meters at 10,000... One th no, 1,000 meters is about 65% stability. Uh, stability components, velocity, magnitude change, velocity, magnitude, velocity, rotation rate times velocity, construct rotation. Uh, weapons gain 0.004% in accuracy for each 1% below 100% stability. Remote missile error is increased by 0.1 meters, um, presumably per unit of an accuracy. Missile lasers roll a new inaccuracy error each second and interpolate from the old one over one second. So, I actually have been trying to use laser guided missiles again. It's kind of annoying because the lasers scatter really and I don't like, I don't know, devs if you're watching this you don't have to take this suggestion. But like if the laser sights on missiles could like have a kind of area of effect because part of the problem is, is like they're off the target by one millimeter and the missile kind of loses interest and pisses off over the horizon, so it'd be nice if, like, laser-guided missiles, like, didn't miss so much. Anyway, alright, changes. ACB, propulsion block, your uh, pitch angle change triggered through ACB takes 0 0.25 seconds for a full 0 to 15 degree rotation. Uh, aero elevator, now has an AC of 20 and health of 300 and a cost of 15. So, actually, hold on. Hold on a minute. Alright, let's go here. Oh, hello. Ah, it's all custom wings now. By the way, they've removed that. So, arrow elevator, where is it? Uh, Alright, so it's here. Alright, so these things, by the looks of it, are, I think, more expensive than they used to be, but are also stronger, which is great. It means they're less delicate. Um, arrow rudder, same thing. Now as an AC of 20. Uh, and uh, health 300, it costs 15. Aerolon, and same thing again, now is an AC of 20 and a health of 300 and a cost of 15. APS, uh, but we can hop out of the build menu for this. Um, APS, effective impact angle for Sabo head is reduced to 75% of the actual impact angle. Uh, effects ricochet and damage reduction calculations. I don't actually know what that means. Reduced to 75% of like... I have... Okay, maybe I'm just stupid, but I have literally no idea what that sentence means. Uh, breadboard. Models of the breadboard... Oh, uh, damn it. I lost my space. No, I clicked off the patch notes. This is a disaster. Everyone panic, especially me. Uh, okay, breadboard. Uh, modules on the breadboard expand to fit the text being displayed within them. Control surfaces, control slash flight surfaces... 
only add 0 0.75 drag for each one unit of force generated. Okay, so I think that means they have less drag now. Uh, custom control surfaces, custom control surface force direction is now always normal to the placement plane. Uh, local velocity only affects the magnitude of the force. Uh, pivots now have an AC of 40 and a health of 400 with a cost of 50. Uh, other parts have an AC of 35 and a health of 350 with a cost of 40. So, alright, that's custom control surfaces. So, let's see here. So, the... not that. Right, that's custom control. So, the pivots... The pivots are pretty darn uh, strong, which is great because uh, you want them to be strong. Uh, well, I did it again. Ah, getting my buttons confused. Uh, scroll, 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 scroll. You can probably hear me mouse wheel go scroll, scroll, scroll. Uh, custom rudders, positive and negative force access code has changed, so anything made in alpha using them should check their uh, your roll and pitch inputs. Alright, so check your custom rudders, people. Uh, custom wings. Wing parts now have an AC of 20 and a health of 300 and cost of 15. Uh, debug tools. Explosive, EMP and impact. Debug tool. Uh, minimum damage down to 10. And interceptors. Improved behavior for thruster plus secondary uh, torpedo propeller interceptors. Interceptor hit rate is now also tracked on the controller. Whoa, we're rolling. We're rolling. What happened? Did you run out of materials again? No, you didn't. You're just being silly. You're just being a blinking silly billy. How about you stop that? Uh, brrr, okay. Uh, interceptor missiles uh, reverted to the old behavior of trying to get as close as possible before exploding. Got a fallback to make sure they always hit the main target, if possible. Bottle cannon. Beam coherence for the same focus value. Uh, improved by 25%, so I guess... Coherence with the same focus value? I don't know what that means, but particle cannons are better, I guess. Shades! Um, flags, sails, and blues now have opaque shaders. So, I... We've got... Whoops. We've got flags on this thing, and... Ah! So basically, yeah, it means you can't see through them. Hello, Sooty. You can't see through them anymore, and... I'm hoping that means uh, we'll get to, um... Uh, change their appearance, because as, um... Uh, the flags and the sails and the balloons, uh, the way they look has been uh, unfavorably, but kind of fairly compared to used toilet paper in appearance, so hopefully we get an aesthetic change with them because, you know, like, I, a lot of people have told me that they would use uh, things like sails a lot more if they looked better, because frankly they, they look kind of bad. Uh, so hopefully we can uh, put some different shaders on them, and uh, now that they're opaque, um, Spinners, precision spin block max uh, turn rate in blah, blah, blah. precision spin block max turn rate in rotate angle mode scales with mass to the power to the power of 0 0.2 instead of mass uh, to the power of 0 0.25. It's uh, which makes them faster, especially for spinners with lots of mass on them. Steam, stable pressure of steam containers isn't affected by the number of vent outputs. Okay, steam slightly better. Tailplane. Now has an AC of 20 and health of 300 and cost of 15. Where the hell is the tail? Oh no, I know what the tail is, right. Uh, UI. Uh, propeller clearance. Uh, visualizations aren't displayed when the HUD is turned off. Okay, cool. V menu now also shows how many cells are occupied by subcontracts and not just the total. Okay. Um, so if I put a subcontract on here, like so. I think, like, ah, okay. Ba -ba -ba -bop. All right, so let's do that now. And so, let's see there. Sub contract. Do the bur -bur -bur. Do -do -do. Where does it say that? Okay, here it is. Uh, cells used uh, 17 on sub contract. So, there it is. There it is. So, now we get rid of that. And it's uh, zero on subcontracts, and that's very nice. Uh, uh, wing. Uh, the old one times one times one wing is now removed from the build menu to encourage more performance-friendly uh, usage with custom wings. Okay, so the old wings are gone. Ah, uh, that might. Thankfully, I never use them anyway. Let's have a look at the back here. What a what a silly wee thing I've made here. How fast are we going? We're going thirty meters per second. Man. 
Making things fly has never been so easy. Yay. Alright, so, and then there's a whole bunch of fixes, which I'm not going to read out. So that's basically it uh, for this patch, Alpha Test uh, 3.5.0. Apologies for nothing blowing up uh, during this... Uh, uh, during this uh, video, but y you know, there's a bunch of other fun stuff. Let's look at this propeller because it looks good. Let's look at these propellers because they look really good. Sexy propellers and stability. You gotta love it. Actually, let's uh, let's hop on our let's hop on our plane because why not? Man, I like this. I like this a lot. Um, yeah. So hopefully everyone can start playing with propellers a bit more rip the old daddy blades but i think uh, we can all agree that the new props are uh, better in basically every way especially looks deacons hell look at these things they're, they're gorgeous and you can make them even more gorgeous and also like uh, if you've never started building ships well now you can and yeah it's just all good news all around and uh things are being changed and from the depths is getting prettier than ever and that's gorgeous so on that note, uh, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon and YouTube membership if you like. It really helps and there's fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters. And thank you once again to the developers for continuing uh, to update this amazing game and keeping it alive and giving us uh, fun aesthetic things and all that stuff. And so thank you all so much and I will see you next time in from the depths farewell